heard that the driver is dead. That is also not true. As you heard the doctor just tell you, uh, the driver is in fair condition, I believe, uh, and will be admitted here to the hospital. Uh, what is going on right now behind me? Our hospital officials are asking the fans to uh, clear the area. Let me, before, let, I, I know you're angry here that you're having to clear the area, well, yeah, area but you We come care here. what's going on, too. I mean, just because you guys are press and stuff doesn't mean that we shouldn't no know what's going on. Just let me know how you're feeling right now. I want to know what's going on. I mean, I'm upset. This happened. I mean, they came, they won the cup finally after, what, 41, 42 years? 42 years. We're excited because they won. They were out. We went to the parade and everything. You know, These we celebrated with them. Obviously, the we, news has hit you rather well, hard. Yeah, and we, very has. hard. We, came, we wouldn't have come here if it hadn't. Okay. We're here. We want to know what's going on, and now they're making us leave, and that's okay. not fair. Now that's the fans here that have gathered here at Beaumont Hospital, and I guess that they number probably uh, two dozen or so. Uh, here uh, at the hospital gathering here. Winning news. We've had people who have come up and said, we heard something about this on the news. We didn't hear the whole story. We've come here to hear the whole story. So that is the very latest from Beaumont Hospital. As we get more developments, certainly we'll bring them to you. Uh, back to you in the studio. All right, Doug, such pointed contrast from the victory we were celebrating just six nights ago. Again, Vladimir Konstantinov in intensive care, life-threatening injuries. They believe it is going to take a couple of days, as we heard the doctors say, for them to assess his problems. Slava Fetisov is in fair condition with a chest injury and a bruised lung. Uh, Mr. Manastikhanov, I'm sorry we don't have his first name, but he is the team masseur. Earlier this evening we were using the word masseuse, which would have implied a woman the team mas uh, masseur is a man, uh, Mr. Manastikhanov, has a significant head injury. He's in surgery at this hour. And Richard Ganaida, the limousine driver in fair condition, is going to be held overnight for observation. Let's continue our coverage now by taking you back to the scene where Ann Thompson is standing by just north of Birmingham. Ann? Hi, Devin. I'm at Woodward Avenue just south of Big Beaver. And behind me, you can see the tree that the limo hit tonight. It hit it with such force that it actually uprooted part of the tree and tore off about four feet of bark. Now, witnesses say that apparently in the left-hand lane of Woodward Avenue, southbound Woodward Avenue, about 9 o'clock, there was a pickup truck stalled there. And the limo was coming south on Woodward, apparently bringing the players and the masseuse from a golf outing that the Red Wings had had earlier in the day. For some reason, whether he was trying to avoid the traffic or he just didn't know where he was going, the limo went off Woodward Avenue and smashed into that tree. The rescue that followed was dramatic. We understand that one person rushed to the limo, tore down the driver's side window, and went and tried to pull the driver out of that limo. Paramedics, we understand, got here very quickly. And in the back of the limo, they found 30-year-old Vladimir Konstantinov, 39-year-old Slava Fetisov, and the masseur of the Red Wings, Sergei Manatsakhanov. Now, we understand that as the paramedics were working on the players and the masseur, and they were taking them to the hospital, that somebody called Steve Eiserman at the golf outing and told him of the accident. Iserman, as the team captain, then spread the word to his teammates. We have two interviews for you. The first comes from a witness who saw the rescue, and the second comes from Matthew Dandino, who is a Red Wing and who was at the golf outing this after or this evening when Steve Iserman got word of the accident. First, let's hear from the witness. We were pulling, uh, we pulled a couple of people out the side door, and they pulled one out from the other side, and also, I guess, the driver. How badly did the people appear to be injured? Not moving around too much. They're just, it's hard to say they had them in like splints and what have you. It's, it's pretty hard to, to, to take, you know, and we heard, I mean, those guys were in pretty bad conditions also. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, we played together all day and, you know, we had some great laughs and just a great time and to come back like this and, you know, we all said goodbye. And uh, this happened, it's just really unfortunate. And, I mean, uh, the guys were pretty, you know, down and, uh, you know, the, there, was some, uh, there was some tears out there. Very, very tough news for the Red Wings. Now, we understand from the Birmingham police here at the scene that there was no evidence at the scene that the driver of the limo had been drinking. The Birmingham police took measurements, and they are trying to figure out just what happened, just what caused this accident here about 9 o'clock tonight. It certainly is a tragic postscript to what has been a wonderful week for the Red Wings. Reporting live from Birmingham, I'm Ann Thompson, Nightbeat.
All right, Ann, and we, as we mentioned, we now have the uh, first name of the team Masur. It is Sergei Manastikhanov. In fact, the fact that his first name is Sergei may have led to the confusion earlier uh, with people believing that Sergei Fedorov may have been involved. You're looking now at Sergei Manastikhanov, who is in surgery at this hour, uh, at least was just a few moments ago, with what is described tonight as a significant head injury. A couple of uh, points to be made here with uh, the Russian Five becoming such a, a powerful and important part of this team. Everyone has sort of uh, learned a lot more about Russian hockey with Slava Fatih. Saw, you're talking about one of the greatest players uh, that world hockey has ever known, former captain of the Red Army team, with Vladimir Konstantinov, one of the best players of today, up this year for the top defenseman in the NHL. Oh, you just feel sick at your stomach when you hear this news. And the doctor did call the head injuries life-threatening, saying that they would have to monitor what goes on the next several days in ICU to, to know the extent of, of what's happened. But it, it, it just makes you sick at your stomach. Especially after what, the way things have been uh, yeah. this past week and all the euphoria that the city's gone through. And speaking of uh, how it makes you feel, we heard that uh, Slava Kozlov, one of the other Russian players, was already at the hospital. This has got to be hitting him uh, extra hard tonight. He was nearly killed in a car wreck in Russia several years ago. In fact, uh, still bears some of the scars from that accident. And I believe one of his teammates was actually killed in that car wreck uh, several years before he became a player in the United States. So obviously all this uh, hitting him extra hard. We'll continue to watch the situation there at the hospital. And we'll go back to it just as soon as we have any new information. The other big news.